Hello, hello, and welcome to The Millie Life. My name is Danielle. I am the owner of The Millie Life and The Millie Life YouTube channel. I am so freaking excited that you are here today. If you are new here, I post new motorcycle videos every Thursday, so make sure to click that subscribe button so you do not miss out. I've got my Millie Life gear link below as well as links to all of my gear that I use to record and ride with. I don't post anything that I don't use and love. If you want more of the Millie Life, you can follow us on all the social medias at the Millie Life. All one word. Don't put those spaces in there. Today we are talking about how to clean your helmet. Let's go. I have the Simpson Mod Bandit helmet. Uh, it's a modular helmet, so it does open up to full face. <sighs> Got a little bit of a confession to make to you guys. I have never cleaned the inside of my helmet and I've had it for almost two years. <laughs> that is cringy. Today we are going to go over how to clean it. I got married last weekend. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. It went off without a hitch. The weather was beautiful. The food was delicious. Our families loved each other, got along, we partied. Uh, we even played some bingo. So stay tuned for more on that. Anyways, so how to wash your helmet. For the exterior, I only use water. If you have especially like stuck on bugs, which you guys can see we've got a bunch of smudges on the visor and then all like crazy kind of colors of those bugs on the helmet itself. It always surprises me like all the different colors. You get reds, yellows, browns, even some greens. It's always interesting to see, but I only use water. We've got a wet microfiber cloth. We've got a ton of these in the garage. Thank you, Matt. And I'm just gonna start buffing the different spots of the helmet. There goes that big red one. All right, just applying a little bit of pressure here. I love this helmet, but it being white, you definitely see all of the <laughs> little scratches and nicks on it too. Open this up, clean underneath. A lot of times you'll get bugs like right in here. Just cleaning off that plastic part. Matt clay barred this a couple weeks ago for me, um, which is just a really intense form of wax, waxing it, and it looked fantastic. He is very meticulous with his motorcycle gear, which is one of the things I love about him is he really takes care of the things that are important to him. All right, there we go. Got most of the bugs off. We're gonna move to the inside of the helmet now, which is where it really needs it. The interior collects all sorts of grime, all sorts of sweat, all, you know, all the lovely things. Um, and I find I break out quite a bit along my chin and my neck, and I think that's from my helmet. Maybe that won't help get rid of all of this breaking out, but, you know, maybe it is. A part of it for sure so let's try to clean it and see uh, see what happens there we're going to remove the inside lining of the helmet start at the back here pulling this guy out and then coming up through the sides here it's got a snap right in here I'll undo that and one down here you can see my Senna speaker here one more snap there. We've got one of the cheek guards off. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Snap, snap. And then the back piece here, two snaps in the back. Pull out plastic pieces there. And there you go. One, two, three. All right, inside of the helmet, nice and bare. There's my setup. I'm gonna take you guys upstairs and we're gonna throw this in the wash.
There's Beth Cat saying hi. I've already got some towels and sheets in there. Um, you know, might as well kill two birds with one stone. Throw these guys in. And I'm gonna use more of a gentle detergent. I'm gonna take a scoop full of this. I'm gonna put it in the wash. And we're gonna put this guy on the most delicate setting. So we got delicate, we'll go normal here. We've got warm, cold, it's probably more of a medium load. And we're gonna start this bad boy up. Yeah! Our wash cycle has finished. So we are not going to dry the um, inside of the helmet or the helmet liner and just let it air dry. One more. We're gonna let that air dry and then we'll put it back in the helmet and hopefully it'll feel nice and clean and uh, I won't be breaking out as much. <laughs> yeah, probably need to clean it more than uh, once every two years. Good morning. The inside of my helmet still a little bit damp. I put this in the wash at like 3.30 yesterday and it's now 9.30 the next morning. So I think we're gonna give it a little more time before I put it back in the helmet. It is mostly dry, just some of the parts you can still feel are a little damp. So we'll leave that there a little longer. I completely forgot that I wanted to take the bike to my clients this morning. So this is still a little wet, so we're just gonna help it out with the lovely blow dryer here. There we go. We're gonna leave it on warm and on high, see how it does. That feels pretty good. It's one of those mornings where it's like 50 something right now, but it's gonna get up to 70s. So I really wanna take my bike. I'm probably gonna freeze, but uh, that's okay. Again, I need heated gear. Now that these are dry, we're gonna go put them back in the helmet and hit the road. Let's go. We're gonna start with the inside piece. So that middle piece here and We've got two snaps in the back, so I'll tell you now where the back and the front piece are. You guys can see what I'm doing here. So there's two snaps here, one here, one here. Okay, cool. So those are in, and that's... <laughs> and then you're gonna buckle those straps in. Hey, get out of here. There's little bugs in here. It's November, get out of here, bud. Okay. Snap one, snap two. In there the right way. All right, we're gonna make sure these straps are out of the way here. And then we're then gonna take the plastic pieces and tuck them under the sides first. This goes in there. There we go. And then I'm gonna push it back, push it back, push it back, slide it forward. You got all those nice click sounds. All right, now we're gonna do the sides. I'm gonna put the plastic piece in, step one. Then you've got two snaps, okay? So one goes down here, one goes up there, voila. So then you're gonna take the second side piece and you can see my microphone and my Senna is all hooked up here. We wanna keep those cords behind the cushioning. This is gonna slip in here. The back piece will go in here just like on the other side. Maybe, there it goes, okay. This guy will go in here, hiding the cords. Okay, push the plastic piece down here. This guy's gonna stay out. 
we're gonna snap these two buttons in, so right here. I think the buttons would be the easiest part. I can't get it to snap. There we go. So this is back in, straps are out. Voila, that's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna head out on a ride now. See how this feels. Hopefully it won't cause me to freak out and hopefully I'll wash it much more frequently. Leave it in the comments below. How often have you washed your helmet? Are you like me and haven't watched it until today and until you saw this video? I'll link my helmet in the link below or in the description section below. And uh, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. My name is Danielle. This is The Millie Life. And until next time, I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.